and I'm back. Okay, so I just did Maroon 5 Memories. Now we're going to a completely different genre, a completely different era, a completely different person. Um, this is actually a funny story, and also Danielle has joined us, if she wants to say hello. Hello. Um, I was playing Grand Theft Auto V yesterday, and I got into a car, and on one of the radio stations, they were playing the song, and I had never heard it before, but I really liked it. So, I used an app called SoundHound and put it up against the TV. And it told me the name of the song and who sings it. So, this is a song by Johnny Paycheck. Yes, that's his name. He um, was a country musician. He's dead now. Um, this song, and I'm not even kidding... Is called It Won't Be Long and I'll Be Hating You. Which, of course, I had to get Danielle in on this because she was not on the phone with me when I was listening to this song on Grand Theft Auto and I want her to hear it. So, we're about to listen to this song. I only heard a little bit because they only play a little bit on Grand Theft Auto. Um, before I have to go play missions and stuff like that. But, um, I have the lyrics. Danielle's here with me. So, uh, she usually goes on her own little search. I don't know what she does whenever I'm doing this. So, we're just going to get right into it. Um, this is Johnny Paycheck. It won't be long and I'll be hating you. <laughs> the woman's fault in the man's version. Because it's always the man's fault in the woman's version. He literally said, lately life with you has been unbearable in the very first verse. Like, I'm sure it ain't been a peach with you, Johnny. All my faith in you has gone and I know it won't return. Why is all the faith in her is gone now? Like, what kind of faith? Like, you, her faithfulness? Mm -hmm. And I know it won't return. How do you know? I did, I did everything to make you happy I could do. Oh, I'm sure. Maybe in your mind. Now you've gotten me hating things I used to love to do. How is that her fault? What, you like to go fishing? You used to love go to go fishing. Now you don't even want to do that because she's made you that miserable. And it won't be long and I'll be hating you. What? What? Okay. All right, Johnny. Whatever you say. But whatever you say. Now you got me hating things I used to love to do. And it won't be long. And I'll be hating you. Whatever happened to the love that we Jealousy, or did you just 
was it jealousy or did you just grow tired of having me around you? Are you saying she's jealous of the women around you? I want to know why you're going to be hating her. That is such a strong word. My mama used to tell me to never use the word hate. Have you ever been told that? Yep. And he's over here talking about his woman. Apparently I'm like, oh. What's, no, what's your impression? I feel like he's just making up excuses to leave. Look, if, yeah. you, if you want to go, there's the door. Literally, there is the door. Which, if I was his woman, is what I would tell him. I no. mean, I don't know why you have to make up an excuse. If you're done, you're done. It won't, and it won't be long, and I'll be hating you. It's like she kind of nagged at the death about the things he used to do or something, maybe. Like, everything that made him happy, she hated and he's like, is it, are you jealous because these things make me happy and you don't? Or did, you, you or, with her? or did you just grow tired of having me around you? Like, are you, when she don't mean it. are you asking her, like, are you just tired of me? I don't know, why don't you just ask her and not make it a riddle, Johnny? I mean, when I first heard this on Grand Theft Auto, I thought it sounded like a riddle. I was like, what is this? Oh, no, he kind of looks like an eight hole, so there you go. Okay. <laughs> From the words of Daniel, he kind of <laughs> looks like an eight hole, end quote. It should be back in blue. So maybe he's cheating on him. And he's done everything he could to make her happy. I also, feel like, her I also feel like he's kind of exaggerating. I did everything I could to make you happy. Or I could do or what it like he wants a medal. Um, you're probably married to this woman, and that's what you're supposed to do. Well, you cut it off before the next line. I'm looking at the lyrics, and the next line said, so you just want to admit that we're through. So, it's like, they come to the end of the Well, story. he just can just happily leave just as much as she can. Yeah. It's like, she won't leave. So, I guess he, she's not really cheating on him because she won't leave, but she won't admit they're done leaving. I think they like the, the dysfunction. Yep. <laughs> he won't admit it either. He says it yep. won't be long and I'll be hating you. No, he didn't say I already do. Yep. They... Obviously, they got a thing about dysfunction. Say, this is what's wrong with toxic relationships. Y'all want to sit there and, like, cuss one another out. And back in the day, this was cussing one another out. And yet, we're just going to stay in the same house and grow bitter with each other. And it's what they're doing. Yeah. 
Like, it don't have to be long and I'll be hating you. Like, why do you want to live with somebody like that? Why does either one of them want to live with each other? There's obviously no redeeming qualities left in this relationship. No. Oh my god, I hope he didn't write this song. Because if he did, then obviously he went through it and that's just a whole other mess. But you just don't admit that we are through. You won't either. You've got me hating things I used to love to do. And it won't be long, and I'll be hating you. It won't be. Uh, he's got a really good voice. <laughs> I mean, that last one of him saying, you won't be long and I'll be hating you, he just had to show it off. Um, he also has another song that I like that I might react to later on, so I'm not going to say what it is. It's a sad song, though, and he don't sound like so much of an a-hole as Daniel called him. Um, he wrote the song. I really don't know what to say to this. And I'm usually not speechless. I just feel like I don't know whose fault it is, so I don't know who to get on to. Usually you can tell by the lyrics, but I feel like part of me feels like he's blaming her for the way he feels. And then part of me feels like she probably did do something to make him mad but is it to the point to where you have to hate her because no, i don't hate her yet but he will be hating her soon i mean you loved her he but he think, says so i think it goes back to the whole thing like you said neither one of them want to leave the relationship and they're growing bitter of each other i she think I think the most curious line out of this whole song is, was it jealousy or did you just grow tired of having me around? Like, what kind of jealousy are you talking about? Are we talking about other women jealousy or like Danielle said, the activities that it did? And I mean, it could be just friends. It don't even have to be relationships. Like, I mean, I had a friend whose husband was jealous of her having friends. Because he didn't have friends. That's called possessiveness. And I'm like, okay. But I mean, how would she grow tired of having him around? He just annoyed her. But he goes back to was it thing. jealousy or did you just grow tired of having me around? What does she got to be jealous of? I don't know. It makes me think, what are you up to? And like I said, he always says, I did everything to make you happy I could do. Well, it don't sound like it. Sounds like they both resented each other. Like, she didn't do things to make you happy. You didn't do things to make her happy. Now nobody's happy, and now it's turning into hate. Mm -hmm. And y'all are both bitter and have resentment towards each other, and it's going to just explode. Pretty much. And if y'all are married, it's going to end in D-I-V-O-R-C-E. And if you're not, then just not marry them just leave like i said there is the door i don't understand why y'all are making this complicated i guess old country singers loved to make but, it complicated i mean a different time though. that was a different time than me 
back then you just didn't leave because you didn't get along. No, you just Especially if you were married. And, and no, you just sat there and didn't talk to each other. And they and that I think that's what he's saying that the relationship has come down to that he sees that it ain't gonna be long, now I'm gonna hate you now. That there's no love, there's no happiness, there's no joy. So are you saying that he perceives that she hates him already? It kind of sounds that way. Like, she, re it's not necessarily like hating him, but she resents him for something. It's the jealousy. Maybe he kept her from living her dream and he lived his. I don't know. I mean, back that, in the day, it was weird. It could be so many things. But hearing this song on Grand Theft Auto Five definitely took me by surprise. Yep. And made me laugh. But I'm glad that I figured out who sung it and what the song was called. And it definitely um, gives me something to think about. Um, if you have comments on what you think the song is about and want to share them with us, just comment below. Otherwise, I'll see you next video. Later, guys.